I've seen a few discussions about where on the overall timeline Pikmin 4 lands, and although there are a few good ideas out there, I'm almost positive I've got this one figured out. Hello everyone, you're watching Variety Television, and welcome to my latest Pikmin theory. This one involving the timeline and a possible story element as well. The main places that Pikmin 4 could fall in the timeline are as follows. Pikmin 4 is a prequel to Pikmin 1. Pikmin 4 takes place during Pikmin 1. Pikmin 4 takes place after Pikmin 3 and Pikmin 4 takes place after Hey Pikmin. One of these we can eliminate before we even begin the discussion, and that is the idea that Pikmin 4 happens after Pikmin 3. We can safely do this because we know that Hey Pikmin takes place after Pikmin 3. We know this because the Dolphin 2 in Hey Pikmin recognizes the new Pikmin that were introduced in Pikmin 3. I guess it's still possible that Pikmin 4 falls between 3 and Hey Pikmin, but that seems extremely unlikely to me. Okay, well, what about the idea that Pikmin 4 takes place before Pikmin 1? Well, the idea would be that Olimar crashes because he's relatively new, and then a rescue squad is dispatched to save him. This could work if you don't look too deeply at the information that we have. For starters, it seems like Olimar is the first outside intelligence to find PNF 404. He discovers the Pikmin and gives them their names, which is later taught to the other explorers down the road. If a group went after Olimar and used the Pikmin to save him, he wouldn't be the one to discover them in Pikmin 1. This one doesn't work. But if Pikmin 4 can't happen before Pikmin 1, then maybe it happens during. Let's take a look at that possibility next. Olimar crashes on PNF 404 while passing by, and sends out a distress signal for help. His ship becomes unoperational, rendering him unable to get a response. The rescue team sends down a group to rescue him, but because he believes he is stranded, Olimar uses the Pikmin to gather his ship parts and save himself. I think this idea holds a little more water than the last. Pikmin 4 happening during Pikmin 1 could be possible, mostly because of the timing. Since we don't yet know the full details of Olimar's mission in Pikmin 4, we could assume that he came to the planet without Louie, meaning before Pikmin 2 or 3. In Pikmin 1, Olimar has 30 days to retrieve enough ship parts to fix his ship, or he will die due to exposure to the planet's atmosphere. And I don't know about you viewers, but as someone who's only okay at Pikmin, it takes me about half the time to get all 30 parts. If the rescue corps shows up to save Olimar, and then they crash themselves, some time will have to be spent getting the crew back together before they can begin their search, giving Olimar enough time to repair his ship on his own. The main reason I don't think Pikmin 4 happens during Pikmin 1 is because of the June 6 trailer. It refers to our stranded Olimar as an intrepid explorer. In Pikmin 1, he would not have been an intrepid explorer, he was an everyday hockeytation that was just driving home. He hit an asteroid and got stranded on a deadly planet. It's only after he's been to PNF 404 a few times and truly learned the ways of the planet and the Pikmin that I think he would be called an intrepid explorer. Which brings us to our last and most likely position in the timeline, after Hey Pikmin. Luckily for us, Pikmin is not Zelda or Sonic, with some crazy out of whack timeline. It seems like this series is going to be fairly linear, which is good for us. But we can't just say that and move on. What pieces of evidence do we have to point us in that direction? Well, as I stated before, Olimar is the one to first discover the Pikmin, meaning our rescue group couldn't have been there first. Olimar being alone doesn't necessarily mean that this is before Pikmin 2 either, since Olimar is Louie-less in Hey Pikmin, which is the latest game in the timeline, so the two aren't necessarily tied together. We also see that purple, white, winged, rock, and ice Pikmin all make an appearance in Pikmin 4, which were not discovered prior to at least Pikmin 2. Olimar didn't report on the purple or white Pikmin in Pikmin 2 because he hadn't seen them yet, so Pikmin 4 has to take place at least after Pikmin 2. Now, with all that being settled, let's put everything together and see what we can walk away with. After the events of Hey Pikmin, Olimar is fed up with Hakutate Freight and his boss. Originally, he was stranded on PNF 404 on his way back home. After being stranded for nearly a month, he manages to get his ship back together and fly home. But what happens as soon as he touches down on Hakutate? His boss immediately unloads the news of the massive company debt, sells Olimar's ship, and then sends him back to PNF 404 to earn money, without even a moment of visitation with his family. He did it though. He went back and earned enough money to save the company, and even enough to buy back his ship. After that, who knows how long he got to be home before the president wound up getting the company in debt yet again. 
and who, of course, would need to go collect even more treasure from the deadly PNF 404? That's right, Olimar. And is it a quick and easy trip? Of course not. After landing, his ship is almost immediately stepped on by the quaggled Myerclops, and leaves him stranded. He gets kidnapped by a monster known as the Plasm Wraith, and would have died, with Luby by the way, on PNF 404 if Alf, Brittany, and Charlie didn't happen to show up. We see some of Olimar's disdain actually start to show up here, with him leaving Mimos behind stating things like how it's so unfair that the President and Hakate Frey get to keep all the money he's making them. He also states that it would be really easy to sneak some gold for himself. He gets stranded yet again in Hay Pikmin when his newest ship, the Dolphin 2, which is a rebuilt version of his original ship, the Dolphin, gets struck down by an asteroid, causing his entire fuel supply to leak out. This is now three times being stranded on PNF 404 and one time being forced to go by his boss. That's why in Pikmin 4, he returns on his own volition. Why? To finally get that gold piece for himself. To bring back a treasure haul and cash it in, so he can quit Hakutate Frey and finally be with his family. That is, until his ship actually crashes again and he's left stranded once more. It's our job to save him in Pikmin 4. I think there's possibly a connection to Hey Pikmin in Pikmin 4 too. Those star bit looking things, the ones that I originally thought could be currency, could actually be sparklium that we have to retrieve to fix the Rescue Corps ship. That's just an idea though, and I think it could still be a currency for customization options. Well that's it, let me know what you guys think about the timeline down below. I would also appreciate if you considered subscribing as I'm still trying to build my channel, and likes are also greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, but please stay tuned, because Variety Television will be right back.